Every morning, Guillermo has a routine. He gets in his truck and he drives around the perimeter of the mine site to check for anything that's changed and needs attention. He stops at the tailings pond to check water levels and dam breach indicators, and then off to a couple of pump houses and secondary entrances around the perimeter to ensure that nothing suspicious has happened since yesterday. There's probably 25 to 30 different checks that he does in his 45 minute tour. What if Guillermo could pull out an app on his phone when he clocks in every day and it could tell him what needs immediate attention right away? One of the most important wireless technologies being used to instrument large sites is LoRaWAN. For sensors that are off the main traffic areas and rely on battery power, LoRaWAN is a very affordable way to collect periodic data that can be monitored continuously for anomalies. I'm Roland Plett, and in this video, I'll explain the benefits of LoRaWAN and how it works. So how is LoRaWAN different, and why do you need it in addition to other wireless options? Before I get into that, I just want to mention that this video is brought to you by the Industry Solutions Group at Cisco. Dun, dun, dun. One of the reasons why there are still a lot of unconnected measurement devices in the field is the cost of communications. LoRaWAN brings that number down a lot. It is designed for low power environments and can reach up to 20 kilometers for one tower. And it can service thousands of devices from one, that one tower. The onboarding, data aggregation, and normalization functions can be done in a cloud service that literally takes minutes to configure. Many of the industrial sensor providers have a growing number of LoRaWAN sensors in production. In addition to that, there are also sensor gateway options. Cisco has an analog gateway coming out that opens up LoRaWAN infrastructures to any 4 to 20 analog sensor. And there are thousands of those on the market for almost any purpose. It's hard to ignore a technology that is very affordable, connects to almost any sensor type, and can be deployed anywhere on your industrial site with very little cabling. There are basically two deployment models for you to consider. A cloud-based deployment or an on-premise based model. The cloud-based model is by far the simplest one. An example is Cisco's Industrial Asset Vision. With this service, the deployment of a new sensor is as easy as taking a picture of its barcode with a mobile app and answering a couple of basic questions. At that point, it starts collecting data and showing it to you on a cloud dashboard. The second model is an on-premise build-your-own model. This requires a network server to be built on-site and administered in-house. Once set up, this is a simple and low-cost format as well, but it requires a bit more expertise to get going and to, on, and to modify on an ongoing basis. When you need a low-cost, low-power data collection solution, you'll want to explore a LoRaWAN solution. For more information, you can reference Cisco's Industrial Asset Vision page at cisco.com slash go slash IAV. Now, I recognize that industrial sites always need multiple wireless technologies to serve the full range of wireless needs. And because of that, look for other tech short videos that cover off Wi-Fi, 5G, mesh, and many others. You can find them on cisco.com or on my YouTube channel. Take care.